City. We're going to see some really awesome cosplay, so let's go on in. Ropa. Did you put this together yourself? Um, actually, this was on my Amazon wish list, and someone got it for me because I was like, I really want to do it, so she got it for me. Very, very cool. So what are you cosplaying today, and where is it from? I am Ryoma from the video game Fire Emblem Fates. Did you craft all this yourself? I did not. This was handed to me by a cosplayer named Tommy Chu, and he's retired, so he's asked me to wear it everywhere. Original character. This is based off of like the fox spirits. It was just something I kind of put together. It was it came to me literally in my sleep, and I thought, hey, let's bring this to life. So here we are. <laughs> and did you craft this yourself? Yes, I did. It was a 24-hour build. I had started another one. I didn't really like the way it was coming out. Scrapped it. Bought new fabric and literally made this overnight. <laughs> I am Suicide, Return of the Living Dead, 1985, from the original movie poster. Jason Voorhees, Camp Killer. Uh, I picked this cosplay because it's one of my favorite movies. I'm a big 80s horror fan and fan of zombie movies. The mask was made by an uh, independent uh, studio, and then all the, the rest of it I bought individually and put it all together. And what about you? Did you craft your uh, cosplay yourself? Well, the hockey mask I had a commission, but the clothing I made, I too made it myself. And also the latex mask was a commission also. Do you guys usually do things together, all the horror stuff together? Usually, yeah. We're known as the horror duo. I want to <laughs> what are you cosplaying today and what is it from? So I'm cosplaying Charizard from the Pokemon universe. I crafted it out of EVA foam for the base body pieces and the head was crafted out of thermal plastic. I am cosplaying a Voltron-inspired samurai. Very cool. And did you craft this yourself? I did. I did. I did. And what was the hardest part of your cosplay to craft? I think the sewing part. Sewing. Yeah, yeah, because I'm, I'm mostly a foam smith. I am uh, Toga Himiko from Boku no Hero Academia. Made the scarf, mask, syringes, blood machine, and the little uh, side patches right there. <laughs> 
And I'm Rin Kagamine from Vocaloid. I'm cosplaying Hatsune Miku and from Vocaloid. Lang Kagamine from Vocaloid. <laughs> and did you craft all this yourself? We did, yes. And what was the hardest part of your cosplay to craft? For me, I think it was the skirt because there's just so many layers and it's so big. For me, I feel like it's the pants because it's really hard to like get it fully fluffy. Yeah, the pants too because you have like the vinyl and then the ruffles and then like the buttons and like the half elastic. It's just so much going on. <laughs> it's Arish Kigal from Fate Grand Order. Very cool. And did you craft any of this yourself? No, unfortunately I just had to do some fixes on certain parts and then style the wig and that was pretty much it. Uh, so I'm Rei Ayanami, Neon Genesis Evangelion, and what inspired me to cosplay was I actually went to my first con when I was 11 and saw all these beautiful costumes. I actually went to fashion after that, so now I'm a designer as well. I'm Asuka from Evangelion, and I just love this show, and I really love the character connected with it, and decided to do the cosplay. What are some of your favorite cosplays that you've seen today? Today I saw a lot of from Demon Slayer, and I saw this one Tangaro, and like in a giant box, and there was actually a person in it. That was my favorite thing ever, because someone was carrying, helping in the, and I was like, why? Oh, there's a person here. No, there's not. I opened it. There was a person there. I was like, hi, how's it going? <laughs> I thought it was really cool. I'm just going to be that guy and say all of them. <laughs> Chocobo, of course, from Final Fantasy. Um, I saw a amazing samurai Voltron. That one sticks in my head. I think the guy's from Paladins of Cosplay. Xenoblade Cosplay. Yeah, like their armor and stuff is like really cool. I like seeing Demon Slayer cosplays. I love seeing like Black Butler cosplayers, especially since it's so old and like hard to find. So any Black Butler cosplayer I see, I like remember. <laughs> there is a good Charizard walking around. He's, he's pretty cool. He's actually a good friend. I saw a very interesting Naruto with Backstreet Boy music that I thought was really funny. <laughs> I saw a really adorable um, Cardcaptor Sakura cosplay, um, two girls, and they were adorable, so. If you had no limit to cosplay and an unlimited budget, what would you want to cosplay? I want to make a fursuit of the Ninetale Fox from Naruto, because I want to go all out and it'd be like anatomical, so that way it's like ginormous. Oh, jeez. Uh, Kane from Final Fantasy IV, he's a dragoon, and that's a lot of armor. I've seen a couple people here today with like furry suits, like, you know, the foxes or the dogs or, you know, the rabbits. Like, I would love to do something like that. Both adults and children would love that, so maybe one day I'll see if I could try, you know, and dive into that scene. Pumpkin head, life size. I uh, will cosplay as a transformer, but it will have to be like a big transformer, at least Optimus Prime. So I would do Samus from Metroid, because that armor is badass. <laughs> Probably another version of Miku with like a bunch of like lights and LEDs and stuff. I think that'd be really cool. I would really like to do Love Live Kotori, but like a UR card, and yeah, they're very expensive. <laughs> I don't know like a character, but probably something with like a lot of lights and like maybe like a steam machine or like just re something really cool and like complicated like that. Well, I just finished it, but I would do it again. I would do Captain America and every single shield variation outfit of his, because it's my favorite. I have no idea, but I just need to cosplay something with pink hair next. That's what's happening. <laughs> Trying to fix what's broken And you've been out there all night Somewhere else probably hurting me more, yeah Oh, we fight and we cry like we like it It's like half love and you so excited We're together but always divided But I, I don't know why I don't need much So I just want you to love me Love, love me I don't need much, baby, can't you show me something, Say something, it's so hard, I don't wanna be jaded, but you got my heart and it's yours for the breaking, I don't need much, I don't need, I don't need much, just love me.
And I don't wanna seem weak But my heart seems to think that I need ya It's all good. 